Hey everyone, this is Monica Sacedo, and she wrote the, the sample essay that you're getting ready to see. This one is one of the essays that was published, and Monica's going to walk you through a little bit of her process of putting together this sophisticated topic about beauty and children in America. So, Monica, what made you come up with this idea? I came up with this idea <clears throat> as being a mother of three. Um, I was thinking about all the child pageants that go on and how they exploit the different children, how they over overrate those kind of shows, and, and it's mostly about the parents, you know, succeeding and, and winning, and it's not about what the children really want. And as a mother of three, I kind of... I started scrolling through pictures and I started, you know, I googled what makes a child beautiful or, or beautiful children and I came up with different pictures and then I googled ugly pictures and it came up with totally different aspect of those pictures. And then how did you put all that together in an argument? Scroll us down to your essay and walk through a little bit about how you put the the abstract together. In my abstract, I just did kind of an overview of the whole topic in general of what makes children beautiful. Um, about my expose in the world of attractiveness and I really just wanted to explore the whole idea of what really makes a child beautiful. Is it is it the outer appearance that makes them beautiful or is it what they learn from their childhood that makes them beautiful? So in your outline I see you started with a quote from someone. Yes, this woman, Rachel Carson, she's an author of The Sense of Wonder. She's also a promoter of um, child beauty and she's not too fond of the idea of all the child um, beauty pageants and, and whatnot. You know, she says that a child's world is fresh and new and beautiful and full of wonder. It's not full of, well, do you have the perfect hair? Do you have the perfect teeth? Do you have the perfect... They're just free to to be children. And then from there, where did you build your project. Where does your project go from there? I just started exploring the different, you know, what exactly is beauty and according I, Yeah, and I see you did subtitles. So you sectioned your thing your organization of your essay you did in sections. And did you find that to be a, a good way of putting together an argument by having headings and sections. Scroll on down and show them. Well, I found, them. The, I found that the more you organize your thoughts, the easier you can organize your essay. If you know kind of how to divide your essay up into different sections, you can... It's, it, it makes it a little easier to organize your ideas and get um, all the information in one area for each idea. Okay. Okay, well now we're looking at the opposition because in an argument essay you have to have both sides of the argument, those who are for and those who are against. Um, those who are are for in aspect with in terms of my essay are those who are are for the beauty pageants and for all the fake you know, hula that you use to the fake hair and fake teeth and fake everything. And then there's the people who think that natural beauty is what makes the child beautiful, how they socialize and how they um, cooperate and, and are brought up. And every parent should take an active role in teaching their children about acts of kindness. Uh, that's quoted from Nikki Davis, who is the person who thinks that... Um, Children should be based, judged based on their natural. I then ended my essay with portraits of my own children, and then I proceeded to 
include the works cited where you can see all the the, the places I went to for my information.